Hey YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is me, India, and I'm back with another video. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be teaching you how to GIMP. And for those who are watching this video just to figure out and find out what GIMP is, this is GIMP. It's like a string texture, but it's thick and it's colorful and it's pretty so yeah and you can have a lot of fun now this video is going to be short sweet and to the point I'm going to try not to make this video so long but it's going to be the box and I'm going to show you how you can get a crisscross method like so without using a little circular device I know as a beginner I had to use the circular device to teach me how to cross but I found out after doing it for so long I don't need that anymore so yeah, and then I'm going to show you how to get a proficient and excellent box. I also know how to do the staircase, and I also know how to do the the cobra. <laughs> um, very, very neat, as you guys can see. I don't allow mistakes in my game. That's just how I am. If it's a mistake, I redo it. Now, I've already started one because I didn't want this video to be too long, and I'm going to show you how you can do the crisscross pattern um, like so and then start out and do your box like so. Now, people tell you to measure it. I say go for it. Just grab two pieces of gimp of any colors that you want and after you do so, just hook them. And after you have them hooked like this, you want to measure them out on each side so they can equal so your sides should look like this I'm gonna choose the black because it's more darker and you can see so it can be two strands like this it can be two strands and you should have a little hook at the top and boom after you do that you do it to the other side as well and when you get done just pinch the the hooks and kind of twist them just to make them hard so they can't move and um, yeah after you do that, then you start to form the box. And I'm going to show you guys, hold up. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I had to zoom in because I can't zoom in on my phone. I'm already recording. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that while not looking at it. I'm going to do it in the camera. Now, here's a hint. Every gimp that you have goes to a side. Or up and down you have one that goes up one that goes down one that goes to the left one that goes to the right every side and every gimp is gonna go directly towards the opposite so if it goes up it goes down if it goes down it goes up if it goes to the left it goes to the right and if it goes to the right it goes to the left got it if you didn't get it I'll put it in the description um, I know I can talk fast but I'm trying not to make this video so long. So because my string going up, my gimp that's going up is black, I'm going to take my black and bring it down. And form a little, you know, a little hook. A little hook. Give it a little room because you're going to need to put things through that. Now I'm going to take my left gimp and curve it and bring it over to my right to hold my black gimp down. And now I have something that looks like this and then I'm gonna take my black gimp that's hanging down and bring that up and I'm gonna look just wrap it around like that so I can get the extra gimp on my way and now I'm going to take my gimp that's going to my right and I'm going to go over the gimp that I just brought up and under the gimp that I brought down and when I do so I'm just gonna pull it through oh, I'm just gonna pull it through like so and now I have a square form oh snap wait a minute wait a minute you guys this is about to create a problem it's about to get twisted and if you see yours twisting up to just fix it so you don't have this problem there we go and just pull Pull from both sides very, very tightly. And when you pull, just pull. And there you go. You shall have a box. I'll do it one more time to show you guys. This is kind of hard. <laughs> just to show you guys. Um, 
and I'm going to try and be better at it this time. Now, I'm going to take my black string that goes up and bring it down. And as you can see, when I started, it was on my left. The top string was on my left. It alternates right from left. So you just go in that direction. Since I took my right one that goes up, I bring it down. I'm going to take my right gimp and bring it to the left to hold the black gimp down. Now I'm going to take my black gimp that was on the right but now was on my left and bring it up and curve it over so I can have this look right here. And I'm going to now take my gimp that's going to my left that was on my right and just go over the gimp that I brought up and under the gimp that I brought down. Like I told you, I will put the directions in the description bar just in case you didn't get it. And if it begins to twist, just untwist them and pull. You see how it has like a rectangle look? Just pull from one side, take it, and pull it from another. And once you do so, it might not be like as tight as you want it. I say just push it, like just pinch it. And it should get to your liking or just keep pulling. And once you keep up with this pattern, you will begin to notice you have a little box thing going going. And when you keep doing it and keep doing it, it will begin to look like this. All right, you guys, that's my little quick tutorial. I don't want it to be too long on how to do the box. I'm going to continue with this. But, um, <laughs> yeah, and I will make a video either today, later on today, or tomorrow to show you guys how to do the cobra or the staircase. And, um, yeah, this has been Teach Me How to Gimp with your girl, India, and I'm out.